All right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen here, new people to the channel, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to be watching Demonstrators Unite for the Right protest UK. What protesting again in the UK? What do you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen think? Do you think it's daft or silly? Let's watch the video and drink my uh, orange tango mango. The tango is the fire, you know, mango while. <laughs> It was a hard-to-define protest. Free Palestine was a strong theme. Anti-austerity. Next is Free Palestine again. Black Lives Matter are here too. And Extinction Rebellion brought the drums. The march was a well-trodden path through London to Parliament Square. This is but today's march. These protesters fear is under threat. Well, they may come from lots of different groups representing a plethora of issues, but they are all opposed to one thing, and that is the police, crime, sentencing, and court bill, which they think could be a curb on their right to protest in the future. Many here are out for the first time since the restrictions on gatherings were lifted after lockdown. Still coronavirus. They're concerned the new legislation will bring new kinds of restrictions. Again, primarily the fact that we're not going to be able to protest very soon. So I've come to show my colours. That's a bit alarming. We are, we are, we are, we're still going to be allowed to protest, aren't we? I don't know that we're going to be. Direct violation of our freedom of speech and our freedom to protest. This government doesn't like it because they know they're wrong. They know they're not being just and fair. They're wrong. And they don't want us to talk about it. The bill states that a fair balance should be struck between individual rights and the general interests of the community. It cites Extinction Rebellion's Lots of people there. of 2019, where parts of London came to a standstill, affecting commuters and businesses. It will allow police to impose conditions such as start and finish times and maximum noise levels on protests. However, the bill states this power can only be used when the police reasonably believe that the noise from the protest may cause serious disruption to the activities of an organisation or cause significant mm. impact on people in the vicinity of the protest. Impact is defined as intimidation, harassment, serious unease, serious alarm or serious distress. Police and crime oh, I'm not bloody him again. Jeremy Corbyn again. Labour. And that would be an affront to democracy anywhere in the world, including here. And so, amid all the other issues, a new battle. Breaking news Matt Hancock resigns as Health Secretary and Sikh Akhan, Mayor of London. And uh, I think he. It goes in the seats for that. But anyway, that's why I'd say a bit more news about that. But anyway, um, very saddening that uh, Sadiq Javid, or is it Sadiq Javid, wants to be um, taking Matt Hancock's place. We're going to be talk watching a bit of that video in the next video. Thank you for joining this one. And uh, yeah, thank you, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.